Okay, so let's try graphing an ellipse here. And I have this in the uh, general form. We want to get it in standard form, and standard form is going to be like this over here. This is the shape equation after we do the shift. This is basically what's going to be going on. But this is the standard form, except we've got x squared. It's either going to be a squared or b squared. The a squared is a larger one because our formula for the um, for the foci is given by c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So a squared is the larger one. So we're not too sure which is going to be the a squared until we put it in standard form. So we have to do that first. So let's get going on this. So first of all, we're going to try to um, do our completing the square process. So let me uh, start that. So we'll separate these out. So we'll put the x's together. Make sure you can all see this. And then uh, the y squares plus 16. Y squared plus 16. And I'll put the 111 on the other side. Okay. And then I'll take out the number in front of the x squared and the y squared terms, factor those out. Six x. And 16 out here, so it's going to be easy to create a trinomial square. 16 goes into 64 four times. That equals the 111. Okay, and then we'll do our completing the square process. This is x. Half of 6 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So I'm going to add 9, but I'm really adding 225 times 9 because there's a 225 outside. So 225 times 9 is 225, so I'm actually adding 225 to both sides. And then over here I'm going to be doing the same thing. Y squared Y. Half of 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So I'm going to add 4, but 16 times 4 is 64, so I'm actually adding 64. Okay? Is that all right? And now we can factor, you can factor these out. This is going to be a trinomial square, so it's going to factor be 25 times x minus 3 squared. Okay? plus 16 times y plus 2 squared. And that equals, if we add all these up, we actually get 400, which is nice. And we want this to be a 1. We're going to know from our standard form this is a 1. So we divide everything by 400. And 25 goes into 416 times, 16 quarters and four dollars. And 16 goes into 425 times, believe it or not. And 400 over 400 is 1. So now we have this in standard form. So now we can see that my a squared is going to be 25. So this would be the b squared, and this would be the a squared. Okay. So we know that a equals 25. I'm sorry, a equals 5, excuse me. And b equals 4. Okay, a equals 5, b equals 4, because this is a squared and that's b squared. So we go to figure out our foci, we're going to be able to work out with that. Okay, so let's kind of graph this now. Well, first of all, where's my center? Excuse me. Well, it's going to be 3, opposite sign, 
and opposite sign. So my center is going to be a 3, negative 2. And if we could look at our, 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 our standard form now, we have x squared over 16 plus y squared over 25 equals 1. So we can find our intercepts real easy when x, those are actually be what we call the vertices. It's kind of the endpoints of these things sometimes. We call that the vertices. <clears throat> so, first of all, we're going to, this is my standard form. So, first of all, let's find our center. So, our center is going to be 3, negative 2. So, let me put that in. Okay, so this is my new kind of center here. And then from over here, we could kind of say, well, when, when x is equal to 0, if I put a 0 in here, y equals plus or minus 5. And when y equals 0, x equals plus or minus 4. So it's easy to find, and that's from this point, so I'm going to go up plus or minus 5 from here. In other words, when x is 0, that's right on this line, I'm going to go up plus or minus 5. I'm going to go down also. And then I'm going to go over 4. And back for when y is 0, that's going to be 0 relative to this point. So when I go 0 units up or down from this point, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. And those are going to be my, we would call those sometimes vertices of that. Got to make sure you keep your roundness now. This is going to be the kind of the harder part here. And that's your, that's what you do in pencil, so you can kind of fix any, like, inconsistencies, because you want kind of a nice curve, and not really easy to draw these freehand. So something like this. So there's your, your ellipse. Okay. So you got your center, 3, negative 2. You got your standard form. Okay. Now in order to find the foci, the foci are given, remember we have this uh, foci. Or the distance from the center, we find the c, and that's going to be c squared equals a squared minus b squared. That's how you find your foci. c squared equals a squared minus b squared for this. So c squared, or my a squared was going to be 25, and my b squared was 16. So c squared equals 9, so c equals plus or minus 3. So that's the distance from the center of the foci are. So I can go from the center, 1, 2, 3, and they're going to be on the major axis. And the major axis is the longer axis. So actually the major axis, I can write that over here so you can see that. length. So the length of the major axes, length of the major axes is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5 is 10. And then the length of the minor axes, okay, is going to be 8, 4 in each direction. So those are the length of my major and minor, ax minor axes, and the foci will be on the major axes, and it's going to be this many units above and below the center. Let's see. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And from that, you can get the coordinates of the foci. First one's going to be maybe three, 
have the same x, x coordinate, 3, 1. This will be the foci. And the other one will be 3, negative 5. There you go. Oh, excuse me, I can see that. Okay. So again, we use the c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So c squared was 3. My center was here. This is my major axis. My major axis is the longer axis. So that's going to be 5 and 5 makes 10. Length of the minor axes, 4 and 4 makes 8. But my foci are on the major axes, and I go plus or minus 3 from the center on the major axes. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So this coordinate was 3, 1. And this coordinate was 3, negative 5. And those are your foci. Okay. And these points are sometimes called vertices because they're kind of the outside points of the ellipse. Okay, so there you go. So that's pretty much everything we would ask. We would ask for the standard form. We'd ask for the center. We'd ask for the foci. And we'd ask for the length of the major axes and the minor axes. And probably what, and want you to graph it and show the foci. And, the vertices. Just show those vertices. We could ask you to give the coordinates, but you can see the coordinates are pretty easy. 3, 3, 3, negative 7, negative 1, negative 2, and 7, negative 2. So you can find those, those co uh, coordinates of the vertices also very easy.